This is an AV Nation special looking ahead to Infocom 2018. My name is Tim Albright. I am your host. What we're doing is we're previewing uh, the exhibitors uh, that are coming to Las Vegas June 6th through the 8th for Infocom 2018. With us today, uh, well, Jason McGraw, uh, one of the people responsible uh, for putting on the show. Uh, Jason is the Senior Vice President of Expositions for North America. Welcome, sir. Hey, Tim. How's it going? Going well, doing well, doing well. Uh, thank you so much uh, for, for having us, for putting on the show, for having the exposition. Um, real quickly, if somebody wants to get a hold of, of Avixa, uh, besides finding somebody uh, running around with the, the, new, the new logo on their, on their lapel, uh, you guys, you have your own booth, obviously. You're, you're in the lobby, right smack dab in the middle between the North uh, Hall and the, and the Central Hall. Um, one of the things that you guys do, though, is you do that for members. You do it for uh, potential members. What else are, are going people going to find when they when they come into that that booth? Well, it'll be hard to miss because it is, as you said, right there in the center as you enter the uh, Las Vegas Convention uh, facility in the grand lobby. Um, you know, as you said, it'll have uh, Vixa member information, also a rather large uh, lounge for Vixa members. Um, our uh, Vixa store. So there'll be some merchandise there with the new Vixa logo and some Infocom shirts. Um, but it's really kind of the hub, if you will, at the show for, for everything of Vixa. Um, all of our team members from around the world uh, will be present and uh, we're there to help and inform and uh, engage. And it'll be a great networking and meetup spot for all the attendees of the show. Yeah. Uh, as the person who kind of oversees everything that happens, you know, at the LVCC uh, that week, and then obviously the, the, the weeks leading up to it, as people come in and, and start setting up, what are one or two things that you're you're most excited about happening uh, during the week of Infocom? Well, uh, Tim, I'm very excited to see all the new products that'll be uh, featured at the show this year. We already know that we're going to have another record-breaking uh, show floor uh, at the convention center. Uh, largest amount of exhibit space we've ever had in our history of the show. We have a lot of uh, new companies that have joined us this year. Um, we're really excited to have uh, not only our, our Bellwether AV brands like uh, Samsung and Crestron and LG and Blackmagic and Life Size, uh, but we have a lot of new companies at the show like Google and Microsoft, Lenovo, Dell, Intel, Dolby, uh, so the show floor is really uh, evolving in terms of the technologies featured at the show. Uh, but you're going to see the stunning displays, the audio demo rooms. Uh, we've integrated Life uh, Pavilion this year, which is new. Uh, looking at that crossover between commercial and residential and smart buildings and smart homes and where you live and where you work and where you play. And so we have a lot of new exhibitors on the floor uh, in that area. Uh, but we have over, uh, excuse me, over a thousand exhibitors this year, close to 200 new exhibitors. So there's going to be a lot to see and do on the show floor, in addition to all the education that goes on throughout the whole week. So I'm really jazzed about this year's show. I think it's going to be tremendous, and there's going to be a lot to see and do, and it's going to be an awesome time. Well, yeah, you, you, the education you, you hit on it there real quickly is, is not just from a manufacturer standpoint, but also from a, an Avixa standpoint. Uh, you guys have got several different classes from your volunteers who, who you know, volunteer their time to come and educate the AV community. Uh, you've got you know, CTS. Uh, you can take the CTS uh, test. You can take the CTS D test, I, I believe. Uh, mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of education going on. Um, go ahead. Sure. I was just going to say, you know, long before the show opens, actually, the Saturday preceding the, the show, uh, we start our three-day uh, pre-conference training program where we have in-depth sessions on CTS prep, design, and so forth. Uh, Tuesday, we kick off our Infocom seminar workshop package offerings, uh, as well as manufacturer training in the audio demo rooms, and that runs Tuesday through Friday. So we have four full days then that, of the week that uh, we have over 200 sessions on a variety of topics, and you can see all those at the infocomshow.org website. Um, but it's really amazing because uh, we introduced this a couple years ago. We have the seminar workshop package for one fee, and you can take all of those sessions over those four days. So uh, it's a pretty amazing um, offering and value for anybody who's looking to keep up to speed on what's going on in the industry. Well, yeah, it also, I remember when you guys came out with that, and I talked with a couple of integrators who took advantage of that, and they actually said, you know, uh, sometimes they would they would go into a course and it wasn't quite what they what they thought, so they would 
hop over to another one or maybe one that was, you know, a little bit more, you know, to, to where they were uh, in, in their career. So very good idea. Um, you mentioned Tuesday. I want, I want to bring this up because you guys uh, last year uh, in, in Orlando rolled out something for the first time. It's called Tide. Mm-hmm. And it was an all day, uh, all day event. Um, and it was really geared towards the experience, uh, not just the technology. It, nobody was talking about the boxes that we're putting into racks, but more, more right. along the lines of the experience. I, I silly question here, but it seems to be a success because you're doing it again. Absolutely. And, and we did, a we did a, a tide program at ISC earlier this year in Amsterdam, uh, very successful. Um, the theme this year is around human centered design and design thinking. So the focus uh, this year, uh, we have a whole new lineup of uh, speakers uh, for TIDE program. It'll be at the Park MGM uh, Hotel there on Tuesday. Uh, so, you know, thought leadership, as you talked about, uh, you know, technology, innovation, design, experience is really the theme. And it is talking about applications and case studies and ways that you can leverage technology to bring greater experiences to your customers. Uh, so it's uh, another great program this year to really kind of kick off uh, that thought leadership uh, going on at Infocom. I, real quickly, I want to touch on this real briefly. In addition to that, during the show, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, you have an area called Center Stage. And uh, somebody asked me last year that didn't attend the show to give them a brief synopsis. And I said, well, it, it's a little bit like you take the TED Talk and you slap, you know, some, the AV centricness. Uh, some really smart subject matter experts, and that's that to me was was center stage. Is that accurate, or would that be a different uh, different definition for you? No, I'd say that you know generally is uh, the concept. It's uh, right in the middle of the North Hall uh, this year in Las Vegas. Uh, we have a brand new slate of speakers. Are like twenty minute sessions. Some are conversations. Some are uh, small panels, uh, case studies. Uh, really, kind of. Uh, you know, taking a, 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 a potpourri of uh, different thought leaders from across the spectrum, uh, customers, uh, integrators, manufacturers, uh, talking about the AV experience. And uh, those sessions are free. They're open to all the attendees visiting the show. Uh, so there'll be a published schedule coming out and attendees can stop by uh, anytime they're on the show floor and, uh, and uh, get some uh, inspiring thoughts and uh, some creative ideas. All right, very good. Uh, Mr. Jason McGraw, if somebody is interested in attending or, or following along what's happening in Vegas, June 6th through the 8th, uh, where's the best site for them to go? You can visit infocomshow.org for our website, and you'll see the registration link there. You can visit all the sessions and all the activities, search the floor plan, find exhibitors, and uh, also look for downloading our mobile app uh, for the Infocom Show on the Apple and uh, Google Play uh, stores. So, uh, that'll give you a lot of information. We have a lot online, and our current education catalog is also avail- available on the website as well. All right, excellent. Yeah, I would suggest if, if yeah, even if you've been to Infocom a couple of times, uh, downloading the app is very helpful, uh, especially if you're trying to find your way uh, from you know point A to point B. Um, you know, when when you're you know you're you're in Hall C and you're trying to find out which what, where your next uh, your next uh, appointment is. So, uh, Mr. Jason McGraw, Senior Vice President of expositions for Avixa. We appreciate your time. Uh, for more information about us and to follow along as, as we also head to, to Las Vegas and bring you everything that's happening in uh, Infocom 2018, go by the website, avnation.tv, avnation.tv.